G'day folks, it's Rob here and welcome to a croaky and slightly nasally backyard farm and aquaponics vlog. Uh, this week's vlog, i would give you a real quick look at the, um, the blueberries and also some TLC. We gave the leaning tower of papaya down the back last weekend. And um, at the end of the clip, I'm going to give you a bit of a roundup on the aquaponics. A few folks have been following us for a while. Um, basically, I think I've got the pH under control. A few folks that haven't, I've had a bit of a stuff up with the system and I'm just trying to balance the pH. Um, so yeah, we'll cover that in the second half of the clip. Uh, just quickly, I haven't done a lot um, out here other than tend the aquaponics this week. I've got a head cold from Kira. She loves to share, lovely girl. And I decided that I'd spend the time um, trying to write a couple of articles when my head was clear enough uh, for the website and also catching up on about 13 months worth of comments and questions here on YouTube. I get asked loads of questions every week and I also get a lot of folks offering their support and their help, um, offering suggestions on how I can do things a little bit better and I've let a lot of them slip by. I try to answer as many as I can every week but it's just getting uh, a little bit intense at times. I do really love the new YouTube um, feature where I can heart your post. It's basically letting me know that I have read your post, so I'll be doing that a lot more often because I do tend to read all the comments um, as they come through at the end of the day or every second day at least. Um, I just don't get enough time to sit down and answer all the comments. And just another thing quickly for you folks out there who have been leaving your emails and phone numbers, no I can't help you design your aquaponic system in Saudi Arabia. Thank you for the offer of the um, plane tickets um, that are always um, seems to be Saudi Arabia too for some reason. I am thinking about offering a service very soon for the backyard grower but there'll be more news on that later. I'll um, do a little bit of an announcement and a little bit of clip on that but yeah for now I'm just um, yeah just doing my own thing here trying to help people where I can in the comments uh, section of the clips. So anyway that's enough of that I'll stop rabbiting on and we'll uh, pop up to the blueberries and I'll catch you after we fix the papaya. G'day folks, Lizzie and I have just finished planting out our garlic for the year. I just filmed a bit of a clip for that, so I'm not too sure when you're going to see it, but I thought while I was just up around here, I would give you a bit of a gander at our blueberry burst. I don't know if you can make it out there, but we're getting a few little buds there, and we've already had a couple flower, so it oh, looks like we're in for our first lot of the um, blueberries from these guys. I'll probably be um, feeding them up with some um, uh, some, key, uh, some kelp powder because it's got a high amount of potassium just to help those, um, those flowers form. I've already pulled it out to do the, um, the garlic clip to water them in so I'll do that after I finish filming here. Uh, this is our Malabar chestnut. As you can tell by the skeletonized um, leaves, the grasshoppers love it. But I thought I'd just show you, Ray, if you're watching this, the plant still lives and hopefully she'll uh, grow back very soon. And over the back there, I don't know if you can make it out, but we've got a volunteer um, sunshine chili growing in amongst the um, gingers in there. Uh, but what I wanted to show you was just down the back. Uh, I did promise um, Charles that I'd give him a look at our black turmeric. So this is it here, mate. Uh, she's put on a nice lot of growth, even though we're getting things like these blooming. Um, where are we? There we are. These locusts in here having a bit of a feed on them. They're having a bit of a munch on the leaves. On this other plant in here is the sunshine chili accidentally broke a stem trying to get a chili off it the other day. But yeah, the black turmeric itself is doing really well. I was hoping to get a, um, a flower off it this season, but it just hasn't happened. As you can see down the bottom there, still got a load of chilies, and I'll be nipping off one or two of them to go with our fish. We've got some silver perch out of the freezer, so I'll be cooking that up tonight. And a load of new green ones coming on. So really impressed how well the chili and the turmeric have gone in that little um, wicking con um, contraption. That's the one with the, uh, the root pouch just sitting on top of a wicking tray. And I'm standing in the way of these poor bees. Uh, yesterday, yesterday we came down here. Um, Kira filmed us while Bianca and I uh, made a bit of a makeshift um, harness for the papaya. The reason I think she was falling down is she's growing basically out the side of the uh, wicking bed there. So all the roots will be going around the outside. They're not really giving her any support uh, to the right there. So uh, yeah, she's got a little bit of a lean on her. So yesterday we just came down here and um, used the little straps and ratchet get up uh, just to give it a, a little bit more support. And I think I may need to also try and run a support line out this side as well. Just to give you a bit of a closer look at these fruit. There's yeah, some nice size ones there. And that one there is I'm just starting to get a bit of a blush on it too. So I'd be down in the next couple of days to take her off. We actually took off two fruit yesterday. 
So we're going to have a glut of papaya very soon. I've only just um, almost finished eating the dried papaya from the last lot. So uh, I think I'll be eating papaya uh, for breakfast and lunch for a couple of days. I do have a couple of these older leaves that I need to pull off. They come off pretty easily, but yeah. Um, thought I'd give you a bit of a look at that. Welcome back to Saturday, folks. Just quickly, uh, that fish dish I mentioned in the meal, we used a silver perch from the freezer that we harvested from the system the other week. Um, into the, um, the curry, we also added in some Okinawan spinach, some mushroom herbs, some Thai basil, and a couple of sunshine chilies. And we also added in some of the aquaponic turmeric I harvested uh, from the system the other week. So if you haven't seen that clip, you can check it out up there. Um, so that made an absolutely awesome fish curry. Uh, it went down such a treat that, yeah, we'll be doing that again very soon. Back to the aquaponics itself. This week I did treat the uh, Brazilian spinach, the Okinawan spinach, and also the chard in here uh, with some BT or Bacillus thuringiensis bacterial-based um, pesticide just to look after a couple of caterpillar issues we're having. And I also nipped out the front and sprayed the broccoli and the cauliflower out there as well. Um, the only other real issue we're having in the system at the moment, though, is still... Um, um, the high pH which I think I have under control now and also to um, the uh, nitrate levels are starting to drop now because we've got no fish in the system and the nitrate levels are slowly dropping I needed to boost them up somehow so instead of adding fish food I've decided to um, swap over to Charlie carp Charlie carp is a natural based fish emulsion fertilizer a liquid form um, that is made from European carp which is a huge pest species here in Australia so I added a uh, 250 mils or a standard metric cup into the fish tank and just let that circulate through the system. Before I added it in, I had a nitrate reading of below 10 parts per million, I think, or 10 milligrams per litre. Um, so it really was a, an added boost to the system. The next day I did a little bit of a test just to see what it would do with the water chemistry in the system. And I noticed that the ammonia had risen to about 2.5 parts per million and the nitrite had stayed at zero and the nitrate had just boosted up again well well uh, up towards the 100 milligrams per litre or parts per million mark so pretty chuffed about that. Uh, the other thing I've been doing this week is um, just playing around with the top up water. What I'm trying to do is bring the pH down to below 7 so the more nutrients are available to the plants. So I treated another batch of top up water with the phosphoric acid and brought it down to a pH of 4.5. I was actually aiming for around about 5 but yeah I must have added a little bit too much in or miscalculated the volume of water I had in the fish tank. So. Rather than um, waiting to do small top-ups every now and then, I decided to dump roughly around about 450 litres worth of water from the sump tank um, out of the system. Basically added it to some wicking beds out the back, a couple of wicking barrels, and also just used it to feed up the plants underneath the mango tree as well. So I replaced um, roughly the 450 litres with the top-up water of a very low pH, and I'm happy to say that I now have a pH in the system at 6.8, which is the sweet spot, or the high end of the sweet spot where I like it. I prefer it between 6.3 and 6.8. So a little bit early before I started filming, I took some more water samples and tested the ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate again. So we'll pop over now, and we'll just see if there's any ammonia present and if the nitrite spiked at all. Just before I show you the levels, people have asked me about my funky API chart. I lost my chart, so I've had to go online and um, copy photos, and I've put them together, and I actually found this really neat, um, handy ammonia one that has a little bit of a softer gradient there. Um, so that's why it's a little bit different to everyone else's, and I've also laminated it. Um, so even if it does get wet, um, we should be all hunky-dory. So the nitrate test I did the other day had it a little bit darker than that. Um, I think it was above 80 parts per million, but obviously because I'm not feeding the system every day, it is coming down a bit. So I'd probably call that round about 40 parts per million. Uh, next we'll do the nitrite. So when I saw the um, high ammonia the other day, I was a little bit concerned I may have killed off um, the bacteria. And um, yeah, but by the look of it, uh, the nitrite is all still being processed into nitrate. Um, there's not even a trace amount in there, so I'm pretty happy with that. And the ammonia is now down, I would say, um, below, easily below 0.5 parts per million, around about maybe the um, 0.25 parts per million, but that's fine. You, you will always find um, a little bit of ammonia in your system. This one's just going to roll everywhere as well. Um, you'll always find a little bit of ammonia in your system because the bacteria can't process it um, as fast. 
as the bacteria can process the um, nitrite. So um, that's just something I picked up from someone a while back. Isn't that? Um, yeah, so all in all, I'm pretty happy with the way things are going. Um, this nitrate, I will be testing every second day. And once I see it come down to around about the 10 parts per million, I will be adding in another metric cup of the Charlie Carp just to boost the level. Um, yeah, so I'm pretty happy with those readings there. Um, the pH will give you a bit of a quick look at that. And we are sitting at 6.8. So I'm, I'm pretty chuffed with that. Um, fish wise, we will be getting um, mum's fish and looking after them. And we might be getting 10 or so um, extra uh, just to keep the system ticking over. But yeah, I'm not planning on bringing it up to full stocking capacity anytime soon. Uh, one of the reasons is I want to rework a lot of this pipe work. Um, the 90 mil storm drain has to come out. If I'm only going to have one fish tank, I won't have the water velocity to keep the um, solids moving into the radial flow filter. So um, I think these, these filters might have to be retired. I know Paul Van reworked them a few times before I had them. And now I've whacked a whopping great big hole in there that's going to be very hard to cap. So I might retire these guys and use some other ones that I've picked up. Um, the rest of the system, oh yeah, just quickly, this ginger, I did mention it in that ginger clip. Um, I will probably be harvesting this soon if it doesn't pick up. Those papayas we harvested at the start of the clip, I forgot to mention before, they're sitting up on the bench and one looks ready to go today. The other one might have a couple of days left in it. Bianca and I can't eat through it. Uh, I will be dehydrating some more just to make up some snacks. Just quickly before I head off, I need to thank a couple of groups of people. Firstly, you folks watching right now, whether you're um, on the way to work, on your commute, watching it on your phone, or just chilling out in your own backyard farm, uh, catching up what others are doing. Um, thank you very much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. And I promise I will be a lot more vigilant with the comments. Now I'm almost up to date with them all. Uh, secondly, those marvelous folks over on Patreon, who are continuing to support the channel thank you very much folks and as always you can check out the super contributors links down in the description below It'd be great if you could follow the links and show those folks some love lastly before i go i do need to um spruce my own online endeavors i do have a online store where you can buy uni seals and also the venturis for your aquaponics and root pouches as well so suss them out if you're in the market there'll be a link below and a little link at the end here as well to our store main page also, the marvellous folks over on Aqua Gardening, um, their affiliate link is um, down there as well on our store page on the website too. And I do have the Amazon Influences um, page or store or whatever you want to call it. There I've got things like uni seals and root pouches, testing equipment, uh, veggie pods as well, all sorts of stuff. So check that out if you're in the States and you um, tend to shop on Amazon. So I will pretty much well leave it there. I do hope you've enjoyed the clip and that your own gardens and aquaponics are booming. And I will catch you next time. Cheers all and have a top one. Lizzie! I don't... Lizzie! Lizzie loves defending us from helicopters. <laughs> um, just quickly.